embrace of the electric eel. For 35 years, Father, you were a numb fish. I couldn't quite remember what it felt like that last time you hugged me when I was eight, just before you went away. But when you summoned me to your stagnant pool, Dad, Papa, whatever I should call the creature that you are, now you finally ask for my love. Do you think I've become strong as the horses humbled, forced into a stream to test the voltage of Amazonian eels? He had never witnessed such a picturesque spectacle of nature as those great eels clamped against the bellies of his thrashing horses, how their eyes almost popped out and their manes stood on end. Though the jolt alone did not kill them, many were so stunned they drowned. That's how it is, Father, when you open your arms and press your entire length against my trunk. My father's voice. Because you refused to let me record your voice, I brought this parrot all the way from Brazil, the last speaker of a vanished tribe. No one understands him, no one speaks to him. I'll leave him to perch beside your bed until he can mimic the hum of the oxygen machine and those little phrases you repeat to the girl who comes and washes you in moisturizing milk and who cooks your meals. You won't have to talk to him. I know that's hard for you. Nor exercise him. He's used to a cage. By the time I return, I expect him to have learned your language, your sighs, your weeping even, and those gasps you make on days when the air is too heavy to breathe, even with supplementary oxygen. And when you die, I'll bring him to live in my home if I haven't seen anyone for weeks I'll stroke his red and green feathers he reminds me how precious each breath is as I coax your voice from his beak daughter. You tell me you loved fishing, so I flop across your bed like a giant piruku and show you my armor-plated body and my bony tongue. You could make a rasp from the teeth on my tongue with the things I'm saying and grate the past with it. I open my cavernous mouth so you can see how everything is toothed. My jaws, palate, pharynx. How you've caught the biggest prize in the Amazon. But when I go into the kitchen and come back too quickly and catch you peeing into a bottle, I know just what I have to do. Shrink myself to a tiny candy roo, the most feared fish in the river. Swim up your stream of urine into your urethra, father, and wedge my backward pointing barbs deep inside your penis. My last poem is in the voice of the Mexican painter, Frida Kahlo. And she's lying in her bath. What the water gave me. This is how it is at the end. Me lying in my bath while the waters break. My skin glistening with amnion, streaks of starlight. And the waters keep on breaking as I reverse out of my body. 
My life dances on the silver surface where cacti flower. The ceiling opens and I float up on fire. Rain pierces me like thorns. I have a steam veil. I sit bolt upright as the sun's rays embrace me. Water, you are a lace wedding gown. I slip over my head, giving birth to my death. I wear you tightly as I burn. Don't make me come back. <laughs>